Hello and welcome to this week's third installment of the JLE Hour. Today's topic advertisements or advertisements. Now, uh, before we begin, I'm going to find it pretty hard to top last week's JLE rap. It got pretty good feedback. Thank to all of you who listened and or liked and or commented. For those of you which have TVs, all know how it feels to have your favourite programmes interrupted by a string of adverts that you really don't want to watch. But I pose the question, why don't they just continuously make great adverts? You know, like adverts you want to actually look forward to watching. For example, I find adverts that have sexual innuendos extremely funny. Hello, my precious Muller Deluxe Corner. Real Mark de Champagne yogurt, a strawberry underlayer, and a side of little cocoa dusted balls of deliciousness. <laughs> well, I know what the next product I'll be buying is. If I just had that money. Secondly, a good advert needs to have a lot of work put into it. As in, they really do something for real within the advert. To show that they put the effort in, so at least you can put the effort in to buy their product. Making the advert both enjoyable to watch and worth putting on TV. Two of my favourite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes Silver white winters that melt into springs These are a few of my favourite things When the dog bites, when the bee stings When I'm feeling sad I simply remember my favourite things And then I don't feel so bad They made a car out of cake. The interior is made out of cake. The engine is a cake. Everything is cake-alicious about this car. Why would you not buy this car? This is an example of a good advert where work has been put into it. We need more of these adverts. Drop it. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, or I shoot the car. Yeah, boy, you best drop that gun. You can't have you shooting that sexy piece of metal. Some motion adverts just get it right. Focus on that word, motion. Picture adverts are annoying. I can't stand them. I'm on YouTube, I'm watching my videos, advert pops up, I have to exit out, annoying. When I was getting the clips of adverts, adverts would come up. It's like an advert inception, advertception, an advert within 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 an advert. I even bet while you're watching this video, an advert popped up. An advert advertising something that you probably never even buy in your life. Or consider watching if it's a movie or or listening to if it's music being advertised. I just Sometimes I just don't see the point. And don't even get me started on beauty care products. These adverts are the worst. They openly insult you. I remember watching TV a few days ago and the advert openly said, Smooth cover, so you can be you, but perfect. Me, but perfect. Wench, how can she say such a thing? How could they advertise such a thing? Ugh. The last thing I need to do now is get angry. I know what will cheer me up. Layer and a side of little cocoa dusted balls of deliciousness. <laughs> Anywho, I don't want to go on for too long. So I'll just give out shout outs 
although I really don't want to, they are shouting at me to give shout out. Shout out to Zach Traxler who called me a dick face. Shout out to Daniel Nkwotja who called me a hoe. And shout out to Sebastian Mejia who called me a cunt. Nice to know I'm so loved amongst my Facebook friends list. Despite the love and affection I show you guys, I just don't seem to receive that back. And Renzo, I'm not giving you another shout out. I already gave you a shout out, so piss off. Though it has just occurred to me that that may count as a shout out. Mm. And that's all from me. Thanks for listening and or watching this J L E Awa 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 Woo 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 It's time for me to go.